So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover the lab that is securing virtual machines using Chrome Enterprise Premium. So first of all click on start lab and if you are new to this channel like the video. Now we will follow step by step method and complete this lab together. So let's hit like button and let's start the lab. So now open the cloud console incognito window. Now here click on I understand. Now here you have to just click on I agree and then agree and continue. After that we have to open the Veeam instance. So let's explore the task. First of all we need to enable this API named Cloud Identity Aware Proxy. So just copy the API name and just go to API in libraries. Just click on library and wait for the page to open. Now here basically you have to enter the API name. So just enter the API name like this. You can paste it and then hit enter. Now you have to open this API and click on enable. So once you have done, you have to just click on enable. After that, we have to create three VM instance. So for that, what you need to do, wait for the API to first of all enable. And then from the search box, just click over here. And you can see here is compute engine click on it and we'll be redirected to the new page you can open if I a new tab also because it will be easier for us to navigate click on create instance it will take some time so from here copy the name carefully and make sure it is in the same zone so once you have clicked on create instance now it will take some time so wait for it now here you have to just enter the name remove this unwanted pop-up first and just enter the name here and select the zone zone might be different for you so always check the zone from the lab instructions and select it now here we have to change the external ipv4 version address to none and then we have to just create the instance so go to the networking section Click on this network interface default and just external IP none. So just click on done and make sure all things have been done correctly by you. Then only go to create. See you have to change external IP. Do not change the internal one. Okay. Now click on create. Now we have to create another instance name windows.iap-iap. So again click on this create instance button. Now here for instance name enter it. So if sometimes you face issue like you are unable to click anywhere just refresh the browser select the zone as per lab instruction. It's same now we have to select the windows server data center. So here you may face one issue let me show you when you click on this windows server and when you, you will be able to search it directly it means like you copy this and just paste over on the data center you won't be able to find it let me show you how so as you can see there is no result so what you can do is here let me show you try to remove this and if you are still unable to find just type the year that is 2016 just type it select again windows server and from here just type 2016 or data center so just type 2016 and select the first one data center as per lab instruction only. Now what you have to do you have to just again update the external IP. Just click on select. Go to networking. Network interfaces. Click on default. And external IP address to none. And then done. And just click on create. So this part also has been done. Now we have to create another a virtual machine named windows connectivity so we here we have to follow its steps carefully and one thing here will be using custom image so click on create instance and one more important thing is that here we have to do not change the external ipv4 to none so let's start and if you are still here and haven't subscribed the channel subscribe it and like the video now here you have to just enter the name and select the zone as per lab instruction it's same 
so if by chance if they update it you can update as per love instruction now what you have to do go to os and storage and create a custom image so how you'll create the custom image here you have to select quick labs resources by default our project id has been selected when you click on custom image you can see there is no image and the source project is custom project id that is our project id so here we have to change it to quick labs resources so how will change let me show you how we can change so click on change and click on all from here you can see clearly quick labs resources and from image now multiple images will be shown we have to select only that is mentioned on the lab just copy it from here and just paste over here and just select it and then one thing click on select now go to the access scopes basically the security we don't have to change the external ip basically disable the external ip in simpler words click on security and just allow all full access to cloud apis then click on create and this is how we have done the first task now we'll move to the second task where we have to create a firewall rule so let's go ahead and complete it as you can see the vm instance is still being created so just wait for it so it takes few seconds to update and if you try to hit check my progress you will definitely get the score now what we have to do we have to create this firewall we haven't completed this step so we won't be getting score now how you will locate the firewall you have to just go to the search box and type firewall and just like this vpc network right click open in new tab so basically here we have to create a firewall rule here you may get two options like let me show you wait for the page to open so here two are there firewall rule and firewall policy here we have to open firewall rule basically create copy the name carefully click on it now remove this unwanted pop-up and just paste the name on the name section now it's all instance in the network just copy the source ipv4 ranges now you don't have to change this you have to just go to the target and update it to all instance in the network now like this update the ipv range and now here we have to add this tcp enable this and enter this value that is 22,3389 basically it is recommended to allow both for ssh and rdp so you have to just enter the value here 22,3389 comma so this is done now you have to just click on create and it will be created for both ssh and rdp so just this part has been done now click on create and wait for few more seconds so finally it has been created now we'll hit check my progress and get the score yes now we have to grant permission to use iap tcp forwarding so for that you have to open the identity aware proxy and just navigate to the ssh and tcp resources so from here just type it or you can just paste the title now click this first one and open it it will take few seconds here first of all copy this compute developer user id and here we have to assign the role that is a iap secure tunnel user copy it carefully and go to this ssh from here we have to select these two only linux and windows iap here multiple vms are here so just select the one which are required now what you have to do is wait for the page to load here we have to just assign the role click on add principle and from here enter the compute now here you have to just select on it and for role it will be cloud iap secure tunnel user now we have to add one more role as a student so just copy the username from here and just on the new principle you have to just paste it and click outside the page now just click on save we have assigned the role and we basically we have done all the parts of this lab that is task number five and six has been done 
you need to just wait and hit check my progress you'll definitely get the score no need to worry about it just scroll down and try to hit check my progress score so if it takes time no need to worry about it just wait so for last task go to the last task and hit check my progress so yes and if you like the way i have solved this lab do like the video and subscribe the channel for more amazing skill badges and list you can check the description of this video and playlist for other learning programs so thank you guys have a great day ahead